This is Jhansi Fort. Jhansi Fort or Jhansi Ka Kila is a fortress situated on a large hilltop called Bangira in Uttar Pradesh. It served as a stronghold of the Chandela kings in Balwant Nagar from the 11th through the 17th century. Jhansi Fort Beautiful view of the city Jhansi खूब लरी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी करक बिजली तो Welcome to Jhansi Fort. Exploring the underground. Lakshmi Bai, the Rani of Chansi, was an Indian queen, the Maharani consort of the Maratha princely state of Chansi from 1843 
to 1853 as the wife of Maharaja Gangadhar Rao. She was one of the leading figures of the Indian Rebellion of 1857 and became a symbol of resistance to the British Raj for Indian nationalists. Look at the bird there. Jhansi City View of Jhansi from the fort Rani Lakshmi Bai was born on 19th November 1828 in the town of Varanasi into a Marathi Karhare Brahmin family. She was named Mani Karnika Tambe and was nicknamed Manu. What did you see from there? I saw a car coming. I see a scooter bike and a motor going and I see a type of wall with holes in it. बहुत ही खूबसूरत नजारा झांसी शहर का हर पैलेस द रानी महल हैज नाउ बीन कन्वर्टेड इनटू अ म्यूजियम इट हाउसेस अ कलेक्शन ऑफ आर्कियोलॉजिकल रिमेंस ऑफ द पीरियड बिटवीन द 9th एंड 12th सेंचुरीज एडी Rani Lakshmi Bai was accustomed to riding on horseback accompanied by escorts between the palace and the temple although sometimes she was carried in a palanquin her horses included sarangi pavan and badal according to historians she rode badal when escaping from the fort in 1858 बुंदेले हर बोलो की मुंह हमने सुनी कहानी थी खूब लड़ी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी खूब लड़ी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी दिस इज द जंपिंग स्पॉट फ्रॉम वेयर 
Rani Lakshmi Bai jumped on her horse Badal from the fort with son Damodar Rao on her back. They survived but the horse died. The Rani escaped. A beautiful view of Jhansi. That is the jumping spot. Manikarnika was married to the Maharaja of Chansi, Gangadhar Rao Nevalkar, in May 1842, and was afterwards called Lakshmi Bai in honor of the Hindu goddess Devi Lakshmi and according to the Maharashtrian tradition of women being given a new name after marriage. In September 1851, she gave birth to a boy later named Damoda Rao who died four months after birth. The Maharaja adopted a child called Anand Rao, the son of Gangadhar Rao's cousin, who was renamed Damoda Rao on the day before the Maharaja died. The adoption was in the presence of the British political officer who was given a letter from the Maharaja instructing that the child be treated with respect and that the government of Jhansi should be given to his widow for her lifetime. After the death of the Maharaja in November 1853, because Damodar Rao, born Anand Rao, was an adopted son, the British East India Company, under Governor General Lord Dalhousie, applied the doctrine of lapse, rejecting Damodar Rao's claim to the throne and annexing the state to its territories. When she was informed of this, she cried out, Main apni chhansi nahi dungi. I shall not surrender my chhansi. In March 1854, Rani Lakshmi Bai was given an annual pension of rupees 60,000 and ordered to leave the palace and the fort. Bundele har bolo ke mu Hamne suni kahani thi Khub lari mardani Wo to chhansi wali rani thi